Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to go over um, how to implement a library within your Solidity project. Um, libraries are very commonly used. Um, two of the most popular ones are SafeMath and StringUtils. Uh, today we're going to use the SafeMath library and show you how to use the functions uh, within that library and uh, how to implement it. Uh, so with that, let's uh, create a couple contracts. So let's do couple create contract safe math and let's do truffle dot create con or truffle create contract math as well great so now that we've got that done um, I've already actually configured the uh, deploy contracts.js file under the migrations folder um, there's a couple important things we need to point out um, nothing different about this part uh, just having the variables for the math and the safe math contracts um, but what's important to point out here is that you want to make sure you deploy the library first in this case it's safe math and Truffle offers this wonderful deployer.link uh, option that allows you to link up the SafeMath library with your actual contract that you plan on using it with. And lastly, of course, you want to deploy the, uh, the contract that's actually going to be using the library itself. Um, so with that, I'm going to go to the safemath.sol file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just copy it from our uh, GitHub, uh, github.com slash tbbd. Um, I originally grabbed this from the Zeppelin uh, guys, uh, Open Zeppelin, which I'll be doing a video on that um, another day. But um, it's again, it's a very commonly used library, and there's no point in reinventing the wheel. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste that over here. And the keyword here is library, is what uh, allows the .sol file to know that this is actually a library. And what the Safe Math library does is help uh, protect against uh, overflows when you're multiplying, dividing, subtracting, and adding numbers. So with that, uh, let's go to the math library. Uh, of course, we have to import it. So import, and we'll do safemath.sol. And whereas normally when we're inheriting contracts, we would do like an is safe math, something like that. Um, we're not going to do that this time. Um, actually, all we need to do is do a using keyword and then safe math. And since it's specifically for UN256, we just have to specify that as well, since that's what the library is for, is for UN256. So with that, let's do a function, and let's call it, uh, I don't know, pew pew. And it'll take in two variables, UN256, we'll call it var1. And we'll say UN256, and call that var2. And whereas normally, oh, there's one thing I forgot here, we just need to declare a total function, a total variable here. So total uint 256 public total and whereas normally we would set total equals uh, var1 plus var2 using libraries what we would do actually is we would say var1 and we would access the method like this so add and this is the add method that we see here in the safe math library right here so you want to do the um, the variable and then dot and then call the method that you're trying to access and all you have to do is put in the variable itself in there that you're trying to add and with that uh, we should be good so uh, let's see if this works truffle compile very good let me start the test RPC real fast and while that starts we can just do a truffle migrate Very good. Let's hop into the console real fast so we can see how it works. And I'm sure you can imagine this is pretty simple. Let's just get the math object. Uh, let's make it easier to work with. Deployed function instance. And let's set math equal to the instance so that we have the math contract that's easier to work with. Perfect. So then um, to do this, we can do math.total.call so we can see that zero. And if we want to do, what is it called? What do we call it? Pew pew? Yes, pew pew. So math.pew pew. Uh, and let's put in 1 and 10. Contract done, or can transaction done. And let's do the call. And it's 11. So again, we could just add any kind of arbitrary addition, subtraction um, using those, um, using that library. And I'll go ahead and put in links as well for the um, string utils library as well, and to the uh, safe math. And yes, um, you can go ahead and take a look at the code on our GitHub. 
and uh, please come to our meetups as well, um, which I'll put the links to in the description. Thank you very much.